Very well. On Tuesday this week, the Kenya Editors Guild held one of its press clubs and invited key players in the electoral process for deliberations on the state of preparedness as the general election beckons. A commendable move that is also timely since the media is an integral part of the electoral cycle with the cardinal duty of educating the masses, informing the nation on the choices at the ballot, as well as shedding light on what is transpiring before, during, and after the general election. However, what caught my attention was a statement by Joyce Kwam, an educator at the electoral body IABC. She spoke deeply and intensely about the just concluded second phase of the enhanced mass voter registration that netted one million new voters in the month-long exercise. First phase of the voter registration drive resulted in 1.5 million new entrants in the national role of voters. That is a total of about 2.5 million out of a target of 6 million national identity card holding citizens who are not registered as voters. A bulk majority of the targeted eligible voters are between the age of 18 and 34, the youth. Article 260 of the Constitution defines the youth as the collectivity of all individuals in the Republic who have attained the age of 18 years but have not attained the age of 35 years. Equam had this to say about the reasons listed by the youth for shunning the voter registration drive. The youth have spoken. They are facing a lot of challenges, lack of jobs, and the youth are saying their issues have, been, have, not, have, have to be addressed first before they participate in the elections, end of quote. The young people have a point, but maybe not quite. We must distinguish between reasons and excuses. Are the challenges they cite, like lack of jobs, legitimate? Yes, they are. Do they have a valid reason to complain? Most definitely. But will their issues be resolved if they keep off the electoral process? Of course not. By staying away from the electoral process, the country's youth are simply granting a walkover to the very same people they accuse of neglecting them. They are simply playing into the hands of their tormentors, more like cutting their noses to spite their faces. The 2017 voter register had 19.6 million citizens. With the first and second phases of enhanced voter registration drives concluded, the voter register numbers stand at about, at about 22.1 million. After audit and cleanup of the register, deleting names of the deceased and eliminating cases of multiple registration, the voter register will largely remain as it was in 2017, maybe with a slight variation. I would place the final register at about 20.5 million or thereabout. The 3.5 million national identity card holding citizens are no doubt significant, and had they registered as voters, their choices at the ballot would tilt the scales in final verdict on who becomes the country's fifth president, who sits in the 13th parliament, and the third lot of governors. So what moral authority will these young people who ignored calls to register as voters and participate in electing leaders in August have should the wrong leaders end up in office? Are bad leaders not elected by good people who don't vote? Thomas Jefferson said, we do not have government by the majority. We have government by the majority who participate. Yes, young people bear the brunt of misrule. They suffer more from mismanagement of public resources. They are the long-term victims of bad policies. But they can't just lament. They must do something. And that thing can only be done at the ballot. They can only do it if they register as voters. As a democracy, decisions on who governs our country can only be made at the ballot by those who are registered as voters and actually turn up to vote. Finally, numbers do not lie. The 2019 census report indicates that there are 13.6 million Kenyans between the age of 18 to 34. Those below the ages of 18 are 21.8 million, while those above the age of 34 are 11.8 million. This means ours is a youth-heavy country. In the 2017 voter register, 
over 10 million voters out of the total 19.6 million were between the ages of 18 to 35. This means electoral decisions on who manages this country are in the hands of the country's youth. But what are they doing with this potent weapon? Dear young men and women, I have a simple message for you. Morning will come whether you set the alarm or not. The president, that is the next president, governors, members of parliament and MCAs will be elected whether you participate or not. Should the minority end up having their day because the majority decided to stay away in protest, the youth will have only themselves to blame. That's my punchline.